Hey guys, Holiday Master here, and today I've got a pretty cool video for you. Um, this is the new for 2023 Jimmy, six and a half foot wide, I believe it's seven ish feet tall, air balloon inflatable animated oogie boogie um, with the um, with the torture uh, wheel pretty much uh, that's pretty much what it is in the movie <laughs> um, but uh, yeah so I wasn't originally gonna buy this item I'm gonna be honest I'm not a, I'm not really a fan of the newer inflatables um, but with the project I have and the display I want to do there are a few newer ones from 2021 to 2023 obviously um, that I will be getting to make what I want happen. Um, now, the other thing I want to say is I'm not really doing a huge Halloween setup. So the point of me getting this item is I'm actually going to try to make it a custom. I'm going to make it a, a Christmas custom to go with part of the setup I have planned for my Christmas display with my Nightmare Before Christmas scene. Um, so probably won't be for a little bit, but if I do it, I'll make a video. If not, I'll be using this in my Christmas display. I know it's more of a Halloween, but we'll see what happens. So, uh, yeah, here's the box. Um, I believe this item is to be sold at Home Depot or Lowe's. I could be wrong. I bought it on, um, Tis Your Seasons. Uh, the proper name, I guess, is Oogie Boogie Wheel of Death Scene. Um, so yeah, I got mine online, but as you can see, 2023, um, there's the box. Just your normal box. The only thing they've really changed is the bags. The bags are now white instead of clear, which is weird, but, you know, whatever. So here's the item. Um, what's neat about it? The wheel itself has three tether loops. It has two in the side, one in the middle, base fans in the middle, and then Oogie Boogie himself has two stake holders and two string holders, which is nice. Um, he also has a separate zipper. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and inflate it. Now, unlike the Santa Hot Air Balloon, I do not have this one staked down, so we're just going to hope the wind doesn't tip it. I believe it has a 125. It's just what it sounds like to me. Um, has one of the huge spinning mechs, not just a little one. So see, there's the only issue I have with this thing. If Oogie Boogie gets caught on the wheel, it's gonna, it's gonna be not good. But, uh, Oh, and of course it's gonna tip, yep. But there's the fan, guys. There, there's his zipper and his stake holders. Um, oh, I didn't notice that. Huh. But, yeah, what I'd like to do for the custom, I've, what I'd like to actually do is take Oogie Boogie off, make him his own inflatable, but use this tube and give it presents at the bottom, and then, you know, give the skeleton little things like hollies and whatnot just to make it a little more Christmassy but I mean only certain people will understand the reference since it's nightmare before Christmas um, now it looks like there's a light on each side and then two in the middle for the skeleton um, which is interesting I don't know what I don't know what that's about that's, I've never seen that on an inflatable, but who knows? But. Yeah. Oh, I messed it up. Let's see if I can turn it sideways and it'll do anything. There we go. But yeah, there it is, guys. I mean, overall, it's an interesting design. And I really am happy that Jimmy is doing Nightmare Before Christmas. I just wish they would have done it years ago, not now. 
I think they would have been able to do a whole lot of more with um, back then rather than now. So, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.